Hello, my name's Peter Coffeen, and I'm a member of Norfolk Artists and Friends, an organization of professional artists living and working in the Norfolk area, with friends from Litchfield, New Hartford, and Sheffield, Massachusetts. Our group has been sponsored for 12 years by the Norfolk Chamber Music Festival, with an annual August exhibition at the Battelle Steckel Gallery on the grounds of the Yale campus in Norfolk, and in recent years as part of a town-wide festival, WIN, a weekend in Norfolk. Due to the virus, the music festival, along with our gallery exhibit, has been canceled for this year. However, the Norfolk Library Associates have graciously invited us to hold our exhibit at the Norfolk Library under social distancing conditions during July and August. This video welcomes you to the library to have a look at the work of 23 artists and hear a bit about each work with statements from the artists themselves. So let's take a look. The first work is an oil on canvas painting by Ron Sloan. It's titled Elsie and it's 24 by 24 oil on canvas. Ron has been obsessively painting his private world for over 40 years. Each painting is a mini drama. He says, I paint what I have not visually seen before, but what I have felt. I now discover that the touches of my love help me. Next is Madeline Falk, a painting called Mandarins. It's 25 by 37 oil on linen. She says, light, shadow, color, form. This painting extols the simplicity of everyday things, a soulful stillness. Number three is Susan Rood, Home for Dinner, it's called. The use of a grid as an organizing structure for my lino cut squares provides comfort and helps to narrate a story during these stressful times. Number four is by Laura Lasker. It's called Lily Pulitzer, Scottish Terrier. Laura says, I enjoy capturing the personality of a dog. Each one is like a person who has unique habits and preferences. Number five is by Pamela Arnois. It's called Breaking Through. It's 18.5 by 18.5 and it's a watercolor. She says a fundamental component of my artwork is to evoke visually a sense of the deeper elemental side of our shared humanity. Jim Jasper, a drawing called Fall. It's 18 by 21 and it's ink on paper. This is from Jim Jasper's series of drawings of figures falling through space, and it's sparked by a memory of people jumping from the World Trade Center. Next is Harvey Kimmelman, Basket with Apples. It's a 14 by 16 oil on linen. Harvey Kimmelman does not paint objects. He paints the colors, values, movement, and the air between himself and what he is painting. Number eight is Karen Linden, Andromeda. It's 12 by 16 oil painting. She says, noticing the sudden isolation of glorious spring blossoms, wild azalea, columbine, trillium were everywhere. Seeming incongruous, I brought in the lovely Andromeda and painted it. Number nine is by Rick Schatzberg. It's called Summer. It's 21 by 25 and it's a photograph. Rick says, Summer is part of an ongoing series, Loon Meadow, about home, love, and the domestication of space. Next is Wayne Jenkins, Cattle, West Side Road, Norfolk. Wayne is an oil painter of wildlife, farm animals, and landscape, and a man of few words. Number 11 is by Janet K. Marks. It's called Hand Wrought Necklace. It's 36 inches long, and it's made from sterling silver, large Baroque pearls, and faceted iolite rondelles. Janet strives to create wearable, uplifting, timeless, and as in this necklace, often versatile designs, setting unique, precious, and semi-precious gemstones with sterling or gold. Number 12 is by Nina Ritson. Barn on West Side for Snow. It's eight by 11, it's an oil painting. Nina says, we're fortunate to live in such a beautiful part of New England. I only hope my paintings capture the love I have for Norfolk. Catherine Griswold's New Year's Day 2011, it's 14 by 20, it's a photograph. There's nothing like winter in the icebox of Connecticut. The snow enhances our beautiful village green and everything on and around it. Very true. Number 14 is by Bruce Frisch, Our Herons. It's an 18 by 24 digital photo. Bruce says, this is the last photo of the herons when we had two trees. Shortly thereafter, the second tree with four nests was blown down. I doubt you'll see as many herons 
any place other than in Bruce's photograph. Number 15 is by Susanna Anderson. Evening, 12th Avenue South. It's a 24 by 28 acrylic, shellac on reclaimed Luan. Susanna says, what drew me to this image from an early evening walk in Seattle was the majesty of the clouds versus the mystery of the shadows. Number 16 is Tom Hloss, One Fine Day. It's a 15 by 17 oil on wood panel. Using oil paint, painting knives, and textured strokes, I've strived to create an imaginary landscape the viewer might like to visit, or may have visited. Number 17 is by Edward Colt. It's called Portrait with Parrots. It's 12 by 15, oil on board. Edward says, I always wanted to paint. Now I'm retired and I have the time to do so. So paint on, Edward. Number 18 is by John Riedemann. It's called Tamuco Bear. It's a ceramic mounted on wood. John quotes John Muir, who said, Bears are not companions of men, but children of God. Their life turns and ebbs with heart pulsings like ours and was poured from the same fountain. Number 19, Peter Coffin. Well, yours truly. A 16 by 20 digital photograph of an urban hillside in Guanajuato, Mexico. Other than my still life photos, I look for color, light, and design in both nature and the built environment. Number 20 is by Tori Rosted, called Branching Out. It's a 16 by 20 acrylic. Tori says, as I see it, the journey makes the magic. So keep your eyes open. Always good advice. Number 21 is by Hilary Van Wright. It's called Midnight Garden. It's 30 by 30, a pastel gouache on maple. Midnight Garden, sweet reminder of a time and place. Peonies, candlelight, the first warm night, crickets, your love. So the burl lives anew. Number 22 is by Ruth Ann Olson. A day on the beach, 31 by 31, acrylic on canvas. Artists' tools, color, Light, object, memory, emotion. Art demands of us our unique expression. And the final work in the show is by Anita Holmes. It's called At the Beach, Color Red Series. I capture images that tell a story. The red umbrella attracted me to this quiet family scene at the beach, and it's from the series, The Color Red, and it's a photograph. Thank you for coming along on a virtual tour of this exhibition. Many thanks to the Norfolk Library Associates for generously hosting this year's exhibit of the Norfolk Artists and Friends. We hope you'll come to see it in person. <laughs>